Hey, y'all, I know I sound terrible today, but I would like for anyone, a special thanks to everybody. I appreciate everything all y'all do in supporting my channel, and I appreciate if you like and subscribe. But to anyone that's ever sent me a gift or, like, that money thing y'all did to me in that live, just, uh. But could you please email me your names and addresses? I would appreciate it so very much. Mwah. Okay, let's go. All right, y'all, right here. I got two of those item signs from the Dollar Tree. I think I've had those for two years, but you can get them pretty much every year. And two of those uh, little galvanized signs from 4th of July from the Dollar Tree. And then these are from the Dollar Tree in the summer, and the skewers. And I'm going to measure them at 10 inches. And you can get three um, three of them out of one giant skewer because I didn't have any dial rods. I just ordered me some, y'all. Okay, and then right here... I'm going to take um, those dial rods and I'm going to just two of them. Yeah, and measure it out the length of that sign and just cut the one by the other. And I'm going to take two of those flat bamboo um, sticks. Thanks, Rose. Anyway, and I'm going to um, take Aileen's tacky glue and I'm going to glue those two. I just measured off to that bamboo skewer. And then right here, I'm going to take that box and I'm going to cut it <clears throat> the inside of it so I can pop it out easier. Because I didn't have strength to find that. Then we're going to sand it down real good, y'all. And then these have screws in them. So don't just try to go popping them little stars off. Because I did that once and it did not work out well. And I couldn't get those off, y'all. I had to take goo gone and let them soak and scrape them off. No joke. It was insane. <clears throat> so you could put it in hot soapy water and get it off too. But anyway. I don't know why I showed so much of it. But, um... Okay, right here is that little modeling clay you could get from the Dollar Tree in different colors and all that stuff like that. Um, and they have white sometimes. But I bought a big bag a while back because I love playing with it. And I'm just going to take a little ball and roll it out. And it goes a lot further than what you think. I mean, I tore that like four times as I kept rolling it out, rolling out. And we're going to take wood glue. And we're going to, um, yeah, see what I'm doing there? I'm adding that big old long string and just this wavy pattern here because I'm going to make it tree branches. I'm just showing y'all still use clay and make and that stuff from the Dollar Tree and still make pretty stuff with that. I mean, yeah. And so, um, everybody's like, don't it crack? Mine's never cracked. So, I don't know, you know. But, um, and I'm going to take my knife here and I'm just going to cut little slits along in it because, again, I want it to look like branches. And I made little teeny tiny leaves. And all you got to do is make a little round ball, ball blah, real tiny ball, flatten it out, and then smash the tip of it and make it pointy. That's simple. And then we're going to take wood glue and glue those to um, touch our branches there. You know, our, yeah. And there's my bamboo skewers that I cut. I just like band-aiding them, rubber banding them together. Gee whiz, band-aiding them. So, um, I can, um get them as straight as possible and i'm taking wood glue here and we're going to start putting them in the corners <clears throat> and if you like push it up real tight and hold it just a second it normally does stick and stay there um you're gonna have to straighten them out later anyway and then i put one in the center you need um uh da -da -da, let me see it was five 18 of these or die rods whatever you have and um yeah, I just wanted to show you what I was doing. Oh, and then I cut a craft stick, one of the large craft sticks from the Dollar Tree. and put wood glue and hot glue on it. And I pushed it up against there to hold it up and continue working on around. All right. And now I got those skinny sticks. Y'all, I got those at Walmart. And it was like 4 or 5 or $6 a bag for 75 of them, which isn't bad. They fit on there perfect. But I went on Amazon and I got coffee stir sticks at 7 inches instead of 5 like those. And... Yeah, it works just as well. And I'm taking that um, Beacon Fabric Tack Glue and Hot Glue, and I'm going to start gluing my little pieces up here. And everybody's like, oh, no, another lantern. It's not a lantern. So, anyway, I'm joking. Anyway, so, well, I guess it could be. Yeah. So, I'm going to take um, some tumbling tire blocks here. We use 3, 6, 9, 12. And... 
We're going to glue them with that bacon fabric tack glue. You know, I talk to y'all because I, I feel like y'all's been with me forever and it's, and it's always the same of us. But new people do come in and they're like, what are you doing there? I don't even know. But um, I'm going to offset those. And I still I need to explain every time. Offset those tumbling tower blocks. See, like that in that pattern. So they'll be more sturdy. And you're going to take the flat ends of those galvanized um signs because one one on each end pops up and the other one lays flat and we're going to push them together as tight as we can and i'm just going to tape them for now on one side and never fails as soon as i start doing this the dog's got to go out never fails and then we're going to flip it over and we're going to take that uh, bacon fabric tack glue i'm just going to start calling it bacon glue y'all i love that stuff i ain't even kidding i ordered another one from amazon so and we're going to tape little pieces um, down through there. It's because I want, yeah, see how I did that? And then one long piece. And cut it off so it doesn't look sloppy. You know what I mean? Cut it off as close as you can uh, flush with the little galvanized things. Yeah, rub it in real good. Yep, real good. <clears throat> and then we're going to take those things where we glued the skewers to those flat bamboo sticks and, and put them to humps up i don't know what you <laughs> um i don't know what you call them two humpies up i don't know <laughs> anyway and i'm just going to tape those down until they dry i don't know what and i made those up so bamboo I, there's not a thing to call them either y'all know y'all know how it is here and i'm gonna paint them in plaster chalk paint by waverly yeah and then after those dry, of course, we're going to remove the tape from the sticks. But then I'm going to cut off little teeny tiny pieces of tape and cover those holes because it had two holes from the screws on each one and then the two holes from the hanger on each one. And I'm going to try to, I don't want those to show as much as possible if I could get by with it. So we're going to take that beacon glue and we're going to glue our little tumbling tower block thing down on the inside of our lantern. Not lantern. It's a bird cage. Gee whiz. And I'm going to take that metallic paint. And I really wanted y'all to know it was metallic. My folk art. And I'm going to. Oh, and I painted the, um, yeah, the bamboo skewers. And now I'm going to take some black. I'm going to galvanize my galvanized thing. But I have to cover up all that tape and stuff, y'all. I take black and white and silver lining and that metallic uh, silver paint. And elephant, I know, use a lot of colors, y'all. And I'm going to dab and, and I just, like, take a paintbrush and, like, tap little small black spots on it. And then I put a lot of the silver lining and then goes the white. And then goes the elephant. And then I'm normally done. And I do that to both sides. And, I guess I paint over the tape on both of them. And I'm going to take that, thanks for ours, that, that um, ink pad, that uh, Tim Holtz ink pad, and that little ink brush, which it, it wasn't doing very well for me. Come on, Abby, get in here. And so I ended up getting a, another brush and going ham with that. But I'm also going to paint my vine there with that um, ink, too. And, y'all, be careful. It gets all over you. I was an absolute mess. Okay, now I'm going to cover my 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 lid there in um mod podge and i'm putting some mod podge on my uh not my spokes gee whiz my skewers and um i'm going to take my craft room cinnamon and sprinkle it on some of that mod podge because i want it to look rusty and here i'm just putting mod podge on the other side to seal it real good plus it will help keep that tape in check that we've put on it that masking tape and then I'm going to take some of them fall apples. Those are from last year, y'all. And I'm going to, at the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to pull out the little stems in the middle. I, actually, most of them didn't even put one pulled out, but the rest of them just broke off. But just get as much up out of there as you can, if you can. And I'm going to take that bacon glue and uh, hot glue. And I'm going to glue these on his little feet. I thought that was cute because they're kind of slimmer at the bottom and wider at the top. Anyway, like me. <laughs> Y'all, I always leave something silly in, so I had to go in and delete a bunch of mess. But 
Y'all, I'm serious. That glue is really good. I was on the phone with Brenda from Rustics and Lace, and I showed her. I glued one of those feet on, and then, uh, like, a few seconds later, pulled it up, and it held that up. I mean, I wouldn't hold it there forever, but whatever. Let's, let's, I digress. So, um, I'm going to do cottage white and paint it the same way I did there on the bottom and paint my little feet. Now, um... I'm trying to decide which side I like best, you know, because you got to figure out which one you like best. And it looks like I did it again. I must have fallen asleep here, y'all. But, no, I didn't. So, we're going to put our, our roof on. And I put those on there to hold that, on that ledge of that birdhouse. Y'all see. Actually, y'all, I think I must have literally fallen asleep and it just played through and played through. And then, I, anyway, so I took that beacon fabric tack glue and you're going to want to put it on the underside of your uh, bamboo skewer, flat bamboo stick thing. And, um, yeah. And then I'm going to glue it extra there and dab off anything that's like coming up out of there because I'm going to take tape again and tape it on and hold it on until it dries. And um, I did leave that overnight just to be safe. And also, I was just really tired. But, <laughs> I know, right? So, um, then we flip it upside down and run more glue on that. Because I really, really wanted it to, you know. And see where I taped it? That's all I wanted to show you. And anyway, y'all, that's it. And then you decorate it how you want. And I think it is absolutely beautiful. Look at it. Aw, I love it. I mean, it looks rustic and old, don't it? And see, see that, my, that clay down there with those branches and the little leaves? It just looks so pretty. See, look at that. Y'all can do that. It's so simple. And... Yeah, and it wouldn't take nothing at all to probably do 80 of those with as much as you get from it from the Dollar Tree. Okay, right here, y'all. I accidentally ordered these, but so be it. I got them now. They're 14-inch little wood uh, round things from the, from the Amazon. And I'm going to take my home decor folk art wood tent, and I'm going to stain. Now, I have a gazillion placemats laying around my craft room and i looked for them and i was like well i guess i have to use this one try not to cut my truck and it made me sad but after i did all this and stuff yeah i found the other ones and i'm like no, there you go it's about right but anyway i'm gonna take that chicken from the dollar tree it's on that stand and i'm gonna trace my that chicken out and if you lay it on the edge of your table it's little stand it'll make it flat to where you could trace it and not like miss any parts and I'm just making sure everything's attached. But when I cut out around his little beak or her little beak, <clears throat> I use my craft knife. And when I'm done, we're going to sand it real good. And, you know, because I didn't want to use that chicken, I might want it for something else. So I thought I'd just cut me out a different one. And I'm going to dry brush <clears throat> heavily um, on my wood round with, uh, wait, 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 no, with that uh, cottage white by folk art it looks like plaster and then i'm gonna paint my chicken black and um i'm gonna take this little brush and you know how sometimes like when you paint metal even you'll get those little um splintery things coming off your where your paint dries that's what happened to my chicken so anyway just brushing them off and i'm gonna get uh, her as thinner as possible and also i did the same thing one of them little crates from dollar tree i stained it and i painted it <clears throat> I'm just measuring here to kind of check if that's about right. And I thought, oh, I'll just lift up pieces of it and glue it. Yeah, that didn't work. But I'm using that beacon glue again and here, making sure it's even as possible again. And um, just going to push it down real good. And then if any, like, glue sticks out, make sure you wipe it off. <laughs> Ribbit. It. it sounded like a frog. <clears throat> And I got those, uh, that stencil from the Dollar Tree back, gee whiz, I don't even know, March. It, it was a long time ago. And I'm going to, like, trace out, um, it's going to be, the word's going to be farm fresh. And I want to do the A and the O word to get them as center as possible so I can follow everything off that. And then I'm going to take that glass marker. I can't find those anymore, y'all. And they're... They're good. I, I love them. And I hope it just wasn't an accident item. And you know, but yeah. And I'm going to trace the word out, farm fresh. And then um, 
on my little crate, I put eggs, but I just colored in with that marker too, that glass marker. So, yeah. And look, I think it looks good. You don't need a cricket. We got our chicken and our and our word right there, and then you need a cricket. But my eggs is a little offset, but the other side was far worse. <laughs> so, yeah, look. But whatever. And we're just going to um, glue our little crate down with um, that beacon fabric tack glue and some wood, hot glue. I don't even know. Not wood glue. Beacon fabric tack and hot glue. Anyway. And I'm going to take my little We Are Memory Keepers hole punch here. It's like a crop dial, just smaller. And I'm going to measure out, I think, um, to put my hanger on. But <laughs> I ended up not adjusting it and clamping it way too close to the edge. Yeah, so that didn't work out for me very well. And um, I had to repunch it. So, oh, those beads, I'd already stained them. They're, that was just a string of the beads from the Dollar Tree. I had already strung them, uh, shoot, stained them a while back. <clears throat> and used like half of them. But I'm just going to put my two strings together and re-bead them because that string is pretty rough looking. And I'm just going to distress it heavily, those beads, with um, that cottage white shot paint by folk art which is like plaster <laughs> plaster uh, that cottage white is a little more white whereas the um plaster got a little bit more like a yellowish tint so it's just i mean but not much difference and i'm going to tie a knot in my hole and then i thought oh i'll use this not this other hole to my advantage and i'll loop it through loop it through no i tied it so tight i broke it but i did triple knot it y'all and um, I'm just going to cut off that extra jute that I don't need. And here we're going to take and we're going to make two bunny ears. We're first we squish it down. See how I'm squishing it down? You make two bunny ears and you smash them and then you just loop it around there and tie it. And then you got a, just a cute little bow. It's that simple. And then we're going to like um, make sure we sp spread the the... I don't know, the ears out, I don't know what you call it, and yeah, and then I'm going to take this, that's the last I have of y'all, Miss Shelly Craig got that for me two years ago, and I go very chintzy with it, and now it's gone, but anyway, and I'm just going to do the awareness bow with it, because you cannot tie that otherwise, I've tried in the past, it does not work, and it looks stupid, so don't do that. Or just take regular burlap. That'd be pretty, too. I thought about running nautical rope, the brown around the outside of it, but I didn't. But anyway, so we're going to cut our little tails down. I just cut them at an angle. And I do take a lighter here, and I do cinch in so my um, ribbon doesn't fray. And we're just going to take a, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, we're going to hot glue them now. Now, I was like, man, am I going to fluff that thing anymore? And I just, yeah, I glue that one down and glue the other one on top of it. Maybe. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, now here y'all got some muslin fabric. Uh, yeah, anyway. And I just cut off a piece, and I'm going to stick it down in my little box there because I want to try to prevent as much as this mess falling out as possible excuse me, and I'm going to take some one of them hula skirts, I'm just going to chop it up a bunch of hay, just chop it, chop it, you know, and then here I have um, that reindeer moss, and that, y'all, what's that other stuff called, um, that brown, um, oh shoot, you know what I'm talking about, oh, good gravy, uh, I can't remember, Anyway, I'm going to put my hay down in there, and because it's little mixtures I put together in baggies, I mix the two together, always adding a little green with it to make it look more realistic. And um, I'm folding just the end there that, and just tacking that down barely in my little box there, and I'm um, chopping everything up real good, and then I'm going to add three little eggs to it, and I just tack um, one of the eggs in there, and it's pressed up against the back to hold the other one in. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait to hang that in my kitchen. Isn't that pretty? I like it a lot. I love it. I love it so gorgeous. Yeah, I love it. 
Yeah, anyway, yeah, I, I do. I hope y'all like it, too. Um, okay, right here, I got one of those signs from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to start with removing the tag. And then, I'm going to sand it Oh, I mean, I sand it off, y'all. <clears throat> and then, when I'm done, I dust it off with, with this chippy brush, and I wipe it down with, um... A wet wipe. I want to get all that dust off there before I paint it. And I'm going to paint it. I uh, give it two coats in Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. And then the frame, I paint it black. And I did put masking tape around it so I didn't, you know. Y'all, oh my gosh. I know where Essential Stencils sent me these gorgeous sunflower stencils. It's part of their new fall collection. <clears throat> and they sent all oh, those rubble and transfers. Here's the stencils, y'all. Look how cute these are. These are my fat. That one's my favorite, y'all, my sunshine. That one's adorable, too, though, y'all. And this one's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's essential stencils. I will put the name of that. I will put their website in my description box down below if y'all want to go check them out. But that one was like one piece, and it was so big, and it was so pretty. And I was like, oh, I don't want to cut it, so I don't. I just tear it off, and I put it up on the frame. I learned that essential stencils are very flexible. So I um, rub it down real good on the sides, like in that crevice. That's the first place you want to start because you want to get that, uh, that transfer stuck to the side of the... Um, the frame, so we can bend it over and then rub it on the top. And I cut those off first because I didn't want it to be all wonky. And it was just easier for me to pull it back that way. Look how beautiful, y'all. And then I burnished it down with um, the plastic that was over it. Now, I added two more flowers. <laughs> and I'm going to I give it two coats of polyurethane. Now, y'all, do not um, touch that black paint the best you can with your big brush apply your thing, it will bleed. The black paint will. Um, and then I um, take a smaller brush and I do the frame with polyacrylic, polyurethane, whatever, same difference. And um, on the back, I'm just going to loosen up. The, I don't want to tear that staple out. And I didn't know if I had staples short enough to not go through. So this just made the most sense to me. I just raise it up. And then I'm going to cut the tip off because that looked like crap. And then I'm going to take... Um, some masking tape and make like a little needle, you know, pointy. And Miss Rose Turner sent me those beads. Aren't they so cute? Um, I know. And I'm going to take buffalo check and white and then yellow. I painted those. Wait a minute. Buffalo check, yellow, black, then white. And then do white, then black, then yellow, then the buffalo check. And then just pound our um, little staple back in. Mm-hmm. And cut off the excess because that's why we're separating it there. And um, that thankful word is from some long skinny signs from year before last, y'all. I mean, and that I pulled the thankful word off of. You can get those galvanized ones and paint them black also. And I'm going to take that beacon fabric tack glue and, well, first I'm knocking like the webs away. And I'm going to glue my word down. Now, of course, I didn't like where I put it, and I scoot it. That's why I don't like using hot glue to do that, because I will always get it wrong every time. And um, I just wiped that excess glue off, y'all. And I'm going to take that um, buffalo check ribbon, that gingham ribbon, sorry, you get from the Dollar Tree, and I'm making a double finger bow. And um, I, I've showed that many times. I don't know if y'all... I haven't gotten it down yet, but if you haven't, let me know. And I'm going to glue it. Yeah, I'm going to cut off the tails, and I'm going to run away. And I'm going to singe the ends of it with that lighter. And I'm going to glue my little bow right there. And, y'all, this looks just like something that come from Hobby Lobby. So did the other, the chicken sign. It's still swinging. Look at me. I think that's gorgeous, and I hope y'all like it, too. Y'all, I feel like crap. I'm so sorry. But I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Um, y'all mean the world to me. Here is everything. But um, fall's coming, y'all. But um, yes, if y'all would please, anybody, I know there's been, even a long time ago, Shirley Gutierrez, I can't say it, Pat Boyer, Deborah Broussard, um, 
they're Diane Cassidy. They're, it's just been uh, uh, Stephanie. You, you guys just and all y'all that did everything in that live. Y'all just absolutely just uh, be still my heart. But I thank all y'all for all your support, your likes, your comments, your subscribes. That means the world to me. Um, <clears throat> but if y'all could email me your addresses and names, I'd appreciate it. Okay, I got one of those bicycle rim reforms here and we're gonna <laughs> Can't use that now. I tried. <laughs> <laughs>